the four bay bow tie backbone. Here I have a piece of aluminum, three quarters by three quarter inch, and this piece is 28 inches long. I use the hacksaw to cut this out of a longer piece. You need a hacksaw if you're going to cut metal. I took this file and for my own sake I cleaned up the ends here. You'd be amazed what a little teeny burr can do to your skin. So you just clean that up for your own sake. So I'm getting started. This is a pretty beat up piece of metal. It's been around here a while. And I'm going to take this last sheet of, last partial sheet of sandpaper I have, and I'm going to clean it up. Now this is fairly simple. I just put it down on the bench and start sanding. And uh, it gets the dirt off. And it takes out some of the scratches. Some of the scratches. There's some pretty bad scratches in here. And uh, it's fairly simple. You just sand it. Now I've used steel wool. And steel wool does a fairly good job. You just go through a lot of steel wool. A good sandpaper, this is 120, or no, this is 180. And uh, that's good enough. You just want to get it clean. You're not trying to buff it up like a piece of chrome. So my piece is clean, and now to measure. I use a yardstick. It's handy. My first mark is going to be at a half an inch. This is a four bay bow tie. So I come down a half an inch. Now I move the ruler to that half inch mark. I come down to nine inches, make a mark. Go to 18 inches, make a mark. And then down here, a half an inch in from the end, I make another mark. Now, I have a centerpiece on this, so I'm going to measure four and a half inches. I should have figured that into my... Anyway, you have, an insul you have an insulator here, insulator here, insulator here, insulator here, and an insulator down here. That's five insulators. Next, I take a square. Any kind of square will do, as long as it's square. It's a right angle. And I make straight lines across the aluminum. I set my square at three-eighths of an inch because three-eighths is half of three-quarters. Okay, check that. Make sure you're right on the button. And if you have any other way to measure it, that's up to you. This is difficult. It's an older thing. Anyway, make a center mark. Make a center mark. And here, make another one. Then I take a center punch. That's this. It's a center punch. You can use a nail. You can use anything. And uh, get the, how do I do this without being in the way? Um, you line that up on your hole. Just tap it lightly. It makes an indentation. It makes it easier to drill. Uh, 
when you put your drill bit on here, you want to just be able to uh, keep it from dancing on the metal or rolling all over the place. You mark each of those center marks. And here we go, we're all laid out. Four and a half to nine. Beautiful. Nine. Nine. Always check yourself. Always check yourself. So we have our basic 28 inch long backbone. It's marked for insulators. And uh, I believe I covered insulator material in my other videos. Look on the site, you'll find it. And uh, next is drilling the holes. I'm not going to drill this. I have too many bow ties now. And uh, it drills a hole smaller than the screw you're going to use. I generally use a 10 or a 12. I think I'm using 10s right now. So I drill a smaller hole. Uh, 7 64th or 1 8th of an inch is usually enough. They're sheet metal screws. They hold very well. If it's too small, you just have to muscle it. Uh, you attach your, build your insulators and attach your insulators. But getting your measurements right is very important because this is the basics. If you, when you put your insulator on here, here's a nasty old insulator. This is cut wrong. When you, when, you have, when you build your insulator right and the hole is correct, you center that on there, your measurements are going to stay right. The reason I come down a half an inch, these are an inch wide. It gives you a half inch to set your, set your insulator on. You've got, you've got good backing here. It's not hanging off the edge. <coughs> you, you make your insulators, attach them on there. And then you go on with bending and attaching, and there's more videos here to show you how to do that. So good luck, guys.